something is wrong and that is not good I lost my shifter where? let's see what happened there was a little bit of a rut that I was in a little while back not too far to you little rut where are you? This one? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'll be right back, guys. Look, guys. Snapped off. I found it uh, like 20 meters in that direction. So I guess I'm going to look for a welder. It wasn't welded completely all the way through, you see. I don't know if it's visible, but. I'm supposed to go up that hill, which is quite steep and I think I'm gonna go all the way up that route of that hill but that one doesn't seem so steep, this one seems steep Right, let's see if I can do this Ah, oh, this is nothing It looks steep getting rocky and the last bit was hard but I made it I'm the king of the world Got first gear. can't get going again, not on this bit let's examine my life's choices right guys, I've decided that this is too much this is uh, 40 degrees or something I don't think there's a reasonable way for me to get the bike going again not uphill at least so uh, I'm going back down and then there should be some kind of route around the mountain and maybe there's an easier access from the other way but this is uh, yeah levels of insanity achieved On the, on the map and I took it and it became single track and it was still okay-ish and it got worse and worse and worse and then I noticed I was only one-fifth of the way there and I decided this is too much I'm going back so I started going back and uh, basically my engine is overheating at the moment so I'm just letting it rest letting it stay I'm gonna read a little book and I'll uh, continue in an hour or so when the engine has cooled down. It's not been, yeah, it's, it's been a great day. Up until I couldn't make it on the last 30 meters. After that, it became a lot less uh, good. <laughs> Still, I have a bit of sun, a little breeze. I 
have a book to read, I'll survive. Just hope I have enough power in my uh, battery to start it up again because it failed on me a few times because I suck at playing with the clutch. That's also why it's overheating. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you in a bit. Hey guys, so we're back at the spot where I was three hours ago. This is right before the first heavy hill climb. This is right behind me. And um, it appears that the only way off this mountain, besides going over that one big, uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't call it cliff, we call it that steep side of the mountain, is to go back. So I'm driving back towards Montana. And uh, yeah, it's one o'clock. Should be about three o'clock when I get there. And then I'm uh, pretty much at the end of the day. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Does either one of you speak English? No. <laughs> um Okay. I don't think it's visible anymore, but behind me some car just got stopped by two police bikes, well, by the police officers that were sitting on the bikes. Anyways, so update, it's uh, currently uh, 5 o'clock, pretty much, yeah, pretty much 5 o'clock. And uh, I just spent the entire day in Plopdiv. Uh, two days ago, my um, my clutch plates started slipping after the day on Mount Com. Anyway, so as I was saying, I uh, I had to change my cut. I don't know if I was saying that actually. I don't even know where I was in my story. Might as well just start from the beginning. So, we had a little time skip, it's 5 o'clock at the moment, no, it's, later. it's 6 minutes past 5 at the moment, I'm driving behind the Rolls Royce. Um, two days ago, I had, uh, three days ago by now, I was at Mount Com, uh, near Montana, and I had quite a bad day, I had to, uh, well, it was a good, good morning, and later in the afternoon was nice, but, um, yeah, I um, I basically screwed up whatever was left of my clutch plates, who've never been changed before. So I had to get new clutch plates, and I 
did that here in uh, Bulgaria. And I went to a store that was recommended to me by the Yamaha dealer, so fine, let's go there. And sure, I got new clutch bleeds, but I got also got a new engine knock. So, I don't really trust my bike at the moment when I'm accelerating, so I need to accelerate slowly. And, um, it doesn't feel right, you know? I certainly don't want to go off-road at the moment. Not with this bike in this state. So I checked by Google Maps. I've been searching for a good mechanic the entire day to try and find a, a solution locally. But, um, yeah, I don't know if you can hear it. But there's both a rattle and a knock, and um, I'm going back home. I'm uh, 2,400, 2,300 kilometers from uh, from Holland, from the Netherlands, and uh, that should take me. Well, my vacation says 22 days, 22 hours, so that should be about 25, 26 hours in real life. 27 so I'm going to make the first two or three hours today then I should be just beyond Sofia and then I'll uh, I'll do 12 hours tomorrow and 12 hours the day after and then I should be back in, in Holland then I'm going to take my bike apart and try to see what's wrong and fix whatever can be fixed and then I'll uh, see what I'll do. yesterday it's a quarter past six what about now and um, I'm going to do the last uh, 1200 kilometers today at least gonna try we should get home by about eight o'clock so uh, yeah that's the plan for today I slept in this hotel Land Plan restaurant okay. and um, yeah, it was a good night rest. I want to get home and fix my bike.
Tanken for the fifth time today. <coughs> and I'm gonna empty it out again. I'll be empty by the time I get home. So five full tanks. 